Hello, everybody. Well, it's Archaea. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. And I'm back with uh, another vlog. Hopefully this one is entertaining. It's a very busy one. A lot happens. I figured I would start by showing you Little Moon in all of her splendor. She is quite fabulous and adorable. I, I really have no idea what she was actually playing with. She's just sort of doing whatever. She's pretty cute. And she's done. She went to go climb in right after that. And here I am in a tiny part of my garden. Most of it's spread out amongst our, our property, but this is our current bush. I'm kind of in love with it. Look at those currants. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> they're they're pretty good. And then behind the currant bush, we actually have asparagus growing. Most people don't really know what asparagus looks like, but I guess I'll show you. See those stalks coming up? You cut them early and that's the asparagus that you eat, but if you let them keep growing, they turn into big bushy like trees and they drop seeds. And then they spread and grow in the next year. And here's our rhubarb. It's doing very well this year, albeit absolutely surrounded by weeds. And a little close-up of the currants. They're quite amazing, not gonna lie. I'm actually obsessed with currants. And here... There was a little creature laying here. You can see how the grass is all pressed down. I think that's pretty adorable. We often have a lot of animals that come and lay in our little field. <clears throat> to be fair though, I mean, I would sleep beside that if it wasn't for the fact that my yard was covered in fire ants and other critters that bite. And I, it's funny, I told you guys last time if I saw a mantis, I'd show you guys and well, I found probably about 50 of them, if I'm honest. <laughs> I love that leap. And now for my favorite store in the world! Ugh, I could spend hours just walking around this place. And I guess uh, you're about to see why. That was probably my favorite knife out of the entire selection. A young polar bear. I get much bigger than that. I remember shooting at this little range when I was a kid.
my hands are a little shaky. I don't have very good... Well, I've got very shaky hands, unfortunately. This fish tank, though, is pretty awesome. It has a lot of native Ontario fish in it. Look at the gar, baby! I love gar. Probably one of my favorite fish of all time. Gigi found this great big cicada on his way home from work. It's just so shiny and green and pretty and adorable. Look at that little face. Look at that little guy. He's just trying to make his way through the world. We did indeed let him go. And then we ended up going camping, which was a lot of fun. So this is the tent that we got at Bass Pro. And we also got some cots. One for each of us, though there's only one cot showing in this. There, we do have another one. We just hadn't put it in yet. We need to get a light to hang from the top in here, I noticed. It's, it's very dark in there at night. Next morning, Gigi found some wild strawberries. They were so delicious. It was like the flavor of three strawberries packed into one tiny little package. And now for a little montage of some nature shots that I got, including a lot of bugs and the harvestmen. This guy was very funky. to see some of the wildlife around uh, in Canada. You can see its little feelers feeling around for anything. It's pretty cool. Of course, Gigi had to reach his hand out. It's funny, you can see it actually tries to give him a little bite here. It's really funny. Just checking it out. There were so many little bugs in the undergrowth. It's unbelievable. I couldn't even get all the footage of everything. There's always something going on every square inch of the wilderness. Someone's bothering somebody. I really like microscopic life, or just even small life in general, not necessarily microscopic, but l looking at the critters and the undergrowth and looking at all the busyness of all the bugs and the slugs and all the whatnots, it's 
It's almost humbling in a way, you know? Let's see, you can see there's just a bunch of bugs hanging out on this flower. Just going about their day. Or even look at the complexity of the edges of the leaves, or just everything. There's so much happening and they don't even know about cities or people or anything. It's just such a different world. It just kind of reminds me to take myself out of my place, I guess. Remind me that there's so much more to life than just, you know, playing video games and driving cars and being a human. There's so much more out there. So, I want to see as much of it as I can. One day I'll get a much better camera for this. But until then, at least I have eyes to enjoy the view. And a phone camera that does an all right job. But one day, I'll make some really great videos of the stuff that I find. And I'll find a lot of it, because I'm stubborn and determined. <laughs> and obsessive, yes. <laughs> that too. It's too bad I couldn't show you some of the views that I got through this spyglass. I saw a beaver dam, and I saw some fish jump, and it was a good time. Speaking of fish, this little guy was very cute. Didn't seem to care we were hovering above him. We saw plenty of fish, but this was the only fish that I could really get any actual good footage of. Otherwise, the sun came out and there was too much glare on top of the clear water. And you can see here, some sort of bug came up left its larval stage to fly. If you could tell me exactly what it is, I'd really appreciate it. There were thousands of these little green guys, these little beetles. Oh, this was cool. A mama spider with its little egg sac. She was not very happy that we disturbed her, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. You can see she gets grumpy here. And she realizes something's happened. Look at that. So cool. We did leave her alone though. I just, I just wanted to see it. And then here's another spider. I believe it's a male. I don't know what species because there's just way too many bugs out there. Critters and whatnot. I don't have them all memorized. But he was reclaiming his web. I think it's a male because it's got giant petty pulps on the front. And look, you can see it has like a head pattern on its abdomen. It's pretty cool. It's neat when you just take a moment to look around and see what's going on around you. There's so much. You miss so much. It does not take that long to see something that you might have never seen before when you go out to the woods. All you have to do is stop and look. So, oh, I need to make an entire video just dedicated to fungus at some point because there is so much freaky stuff out there. In fall. I'll go out in fall and I'll get as much footage as I can. This beetle right here. This guy flew at my face. I wish I had footage of it, but it's very visual. You can see he was even looking at me there. He flew right at my face. <laughs> Smacked right into my brow. <sighs> Naughty little guy. Very beautiful though. Very beautiful, golden and black. Super visual. Now here's another example of stuff happening all over. This flower was like a highway. Look, you could see little larvae crawling around in it. I probably saw at least 30 bees go to it alone. Several flies. There's just so much happening everywhere. Such a busy life. I probably could have just sat down and watched this flower all day and watched all the community buzz around it. But then I probably would have had a little bit of a less interesting video for you all, eh? And there's little bugs even crawling around in here. In this little clover. Another true bug. Look at the complexity of the plants, though. It's so interesting. I was lucky to even get this guy on camera. Barely. And there's...
there's the forest. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little look into my life, the stuff I like to do. I'd really love to invest eventually in a really good like camcorder so that I can get really good quality shots of other little bugs and things in the undergrowth. One day. One day. But for now, I guess I have a lot more to focus on. Like this pothos that is overgrowing everything. <laughs> but I guess uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>